the comma in sports network. Who that nation? How you doing? Come on in. Take a seat. Sit back. Relax. Put your feet up. Grab a drink. And let's talk Saints football. Y'all know what time it is. Time to keep it real. Let's go. Family, family, family. How you doing? The doors are not open, so you already know. Come on in. I'm Dove Jackson. This is the Come On In Sports Network. You are now rocking with the Keep Me Real Who That Sports podcast. Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. Listen, we're going to go over a few um, Saints uh, news and notes. Also, we're going to take a look at the NFL trade value chart. A lot of people are coming up with all kinds of scenarios on the Saints need to move up from 14 to number two to get the number two pick or the number three pick, whatever it takes to get Jaden Daniels. But exactly how does that work? We all go find out tonight because we go learn together. I see I got some family members in the chat. All right, here we go. Uncle Jerry, how you doing? Come on in. I will be putting the link in the chat if anyone would like to come on. Thank you for being here, Jerry. It ain't Booker T, but my brother, Booker Rankins, how you doing? Come on in. Appreciate it, Jerry. Just Blaze? Blaze, how you doing? Come on in. Thank you, my brother. Here we go. Yeah, new rules too, man. We're going to talk about the kickoff rule. You know, I, I personally, I like the rule, man. I like the rule. And speaking of the kickoff rule, a lot of us, we cry, not cry, but we complain and we ask for the game to be made safe, safer. This kickoff rule makes the game safer. It all it makes the game safer, and at the same time, and at the same time, excuse me, it brings the kick return game back into the National Football League. And let me tell you this: you get past that first line of defenders, it's you against the kicker. And 90, 98, 98 98.5 98.5 percent of the time, who's gonna win that battle? The return man. You're gonna see. Mark my words, this year with this new rule, I think we can see 10 or more return, kick returns for a touchdown. 10 or more. And I think someone, someone in the league will at least, one person in the league will have at least four returns for a touchdown. Four returns for a touchdown. That's what I'm going with, family. That's what I'm calling it. But listen, family, I'm about to share the uh, screen, which we're about to get into these news and notes. Uh, first thing we're going to look at, we're going to go to Saints News Network. This came out five hours ago. This is by our brother, Bob Rose. And, um, let me get that up there for you. Talisi Fuaka could be the answer to a major issue facing the New Orleans Saints entering the NFL draft. And, of course, we all know what the major – the major um, issue is former all pro tackle Ryan Ramchick. Last month in Indianapolis, the Saints were very optimistic about the progress of Ryan Ramchick after him having offseason surgery. Though it was not a it, though it was not major surgery, they called it a um, a lesser procedure. Well, unfortunately, it looks as though Things are not going the way that Ron Ramchek and the Saints would like. Ian Rappaport came out and reported today that it is a strong possibility 
um, that it is a strong possibility that Ron Ramchek could be forced to miss the 2024 season. Personally, I think Ron Ramchek, if his knee is not right, I think he should consider having the major surgery done, rehabbing for a whole year, and if he desires to continue playing, then come back and play in 2025. Thus, now the Saints must seriously consider double dipping in the draft. The Saints must bring in young offensive line talent. There are a lot of young, talented um, offensive tackles and guards in this year's draft. Do not panic if the Saints do not take a tackle at 14. There will be a good uh, offensive tackle available in the second round. Matter of fact, there are going to be some second round selections on that offensive front that outperform their first their first round brethren in the National Football League. So the Saints have to address the line. And listen, I'm with listen. Bob Rose has this is a draft crush for me. I saw this kid family when I was live in Mobile. I saw him live and up live close and up and in person. Um, this kid's amazing. Um, I think he's a day one starter. I think you get him, you draft him, you put him at right tackle, and you let him go. He's a day one starter. He played at Oregon State, he played in the Pac 12. He's not coming from a division two school, a one double A school, a FCS school. Um, he's played against high competition. He handled he acquitted himself extremely well at the senior bowl and through the draft process. Talisi Fuaga from Oregon State. You heard me talking about this young man. He family, he's the guy that I want the Saints to take. They take offensive linemen. That's the guy I want them to take. Because I don't think Joe Alt's going to be there. I don't think Fashanu is going to be there. And I think he's the next best guy on the board for the Saints. So let's take a look at this article that our brother um, Bob Rose wrote for the Saints News Network. Saints News Network. Shout out to the Saints News Network and everyone over there. Mr. Bob Rose. Mr. Kyle T. Mosley. Mr. John Hendricks and Mr. Ross Jackson. All right, family, here we go. This week's news that New Orleans Saints right tackle Ryan Ramchak may not be ready for the start of the season, could even miss the entire year, is a damaging blow to the team. This is just more bad news for a team that benched 2022 first-round pick Trevor Penny because of poor performance at left tackle and has not resigned Andrews Pete. Most expected the Saints to address the offensive line early in this year's draft. With Ramchek's setback, this now seems all but sure to happen with their first-round choice. New Orleans currently owns the 14 overall selection, but offensive tackle is considered the deepest position in this year's draft class. Here's a closer look at one of the top prospects at this spot. After standing out at Mount Tahoma High School in Washington, Fuaga jumped out, jumped one state south to play collegially at Oregon State. He was a reserve in his first two years, but had earned a starting role going into 2022. Between 2022 and 2023, Fuaga started all 25 games for the Beavers at right tackle. He earned second team all Pac-12 accolades in 2022. They followed that up with All-American honors and the first team All-Pac-12 selection last year. Walker brings a formidable frame along with surprising agility for his size. Additionally, he plays with a nasty demeanor in it and is an outstanding and is an outstanding finisher while being perhaps the most developed pass blocker in this year's draft class. I'm going to read that again. Perhaps Talisi Fuaga is the most developed pass blocker in this year's draft class. Fuaga was not credited with giving up a sack in either of his two seasons as a starter. I'm going to read that again. He was not credited, even when they went back and looked at the film, he was not credited with giving up a sack in any of the two seasons that he was the starter 
at right tackle for the Beavers. He has elite footwork and mirroring skills as a pass blocker, along with the power to overwhelm rushes. His vision, short area quickness, and hand movements adequately combat speed rushes and counter moves. As a run blocker, Buaga fires off the line with powerful force. He gets to the second level of a defense quickly and leaves a path of destruction in his wake, opening clear lanes for running backs. Fuaga can pop up a little high in his stance at the snap, which I saw. That's something he's going to have to work on. That's coaching. This can allow defenders to gain an advantage in the initial leverage battle. He has just average arm lift and can overextend himself, leaving him vulnerable to inside moves or an athletic rusher around the edge. At this stage of his career, Fuaga is highly technical, is a highly technical pass protector, but perhaps too reliant on his power as a run blocker. He may have some small struggles in the latter in the latter area early on, but that power and his natural footwork gives him immediate value with tremendous upside. Notre Dame's offensive tackle Joe Aldis is expected to be the first offensive lineman drafted. After that, most expect Penn State's Olif Fashanu of Fuaga to come off the board next. With Penn's disappointing play in Ramchek's knee, New Orleans has major questions at both tackle spots coming into the draft. Talisi Fuaga has, has the all-around skills to be a immediate starter. And yes, from the listen, the Saints drop him. If the Saints draft him next month and with, with the 14 pick, pouncing him in as the right tackle, as the starter. And he gonna be there for a number of years. And if Ranchek. If Ron Ramchek has to miss this season, rehab that knee and come back, then you put Ron Ramchek at left tackle now. You leave Fuaga at right tackle. Now, what you going to do with Trevor Penning? They don't want to move him yet. Now, maybe John Benton comes in, him and his staff, and they get Trevor Penning right. And you have Penning, left tackle, and you have Fuaga, right tackle. Now we start addressing the guard position. We're gonna get some, we're gonna need some guards though. Caesar Ruiz is gonna to have to become more consistent. Who's gonna be your left guard? Would it be last year's full round selection? Um, um Salvador. Would it be him? I say Salvador. So the very Nick saw the very would it be Saul the very? I don't know, but we will see. He will be slated as a long-term replacement from Ron Ramchek. He also be definite. He he also be definite answer to a huge immediate problem if Ramchek is sidelined to start the season. If Ramchek sidelined to start the season, he comes back. He gonna have to go to the left side. I'm telling y'all right now. If this kid gets here. If the Saints are wise enough, if he's on the boat and the Saints are wise enough to get their hands on this kid, Talisi Fuaga, mark it down. He will be a starter at right tackle his entire duration as a member of the New Orleans Saints barn injury. That kid is that talented. He is light on his feet. He is strong as an ox. Yes, he has some technique problem, but I'm going to tell you this. He was going up against the best pass rushes, best pass rushes at the senior bowl. Latu, Latu, ate him up. Ate him up. He got beat a few times. They all brought him. But for the most part, he dominated. Man, you might can count him on your hand the reps he, he might have lost. One, two, maybe three at the most. If that, and that three might be stretching it from what I saw when I was watching him. From what I saw. All right. So again, Bob then has Talisi Fuaga as a definitely uh candidate for the New Orleans Saints to um uh, to go after in this year's uh draft. So again, Ryan Ramchek, what what do you do? We know the last two years, Ryan Ramchek has been getting the veterans rest throughout the week um mainly just going through walkthroughs and then going out there on game day and gutting it out 
He loves the game of football. He loves playing. He loves to sit in the wall. He loves the Saints. But damn it, there's life after football. Why go out there if you're not 100%? If I could, t I think Ron Ramchek, of course, he's his own man. He'll sit down with his family and discuss it with his family. And then, man, listen, you got to sit down and have that, that talk with yourself. Is it worth playing? Continue to play hampered by this injury, not being able to play fully to my capabilities. Now, make no mistake, Ryan Ryan, we know how good Ryan Ryan check is or was before this injury, but that has something to do with him being able to practice too, working on his technique. But if you're sitting, all week, every week for practice, and you only go through the walkthroughs, then you got to get out there on game day. I said it earlier this morning on, on the juice of the day. Ron Ramchak needs to have this surgery. And if the best thing for his immediate future and future and his uh his future as continuing as a football player, but most importantly, living his life after football. I think the young man should seriously consider having this surgery. The Saints, no doubt, now have a con uh, a contingent, a, another plan, have a plan. They have to. Because right now, they can't count on Ron Ryan despite what they're saying. Oh, we have, we understand you have time, but you had time the last two, two and a half going on three years now. You had time in those old seasons too, and it didn't get any better. Ron Ramtech needs to have the surgery. Saints need to go in this draft and draft them a young right tackle. Saints need to decide before this draft, what are they going to do with Trevor Penning? It is too early. I hear a lot of people say he's a bus. He's a bus. He's a bus. Kid ain't no bus. Can't call the kid a bus. Get this kid right. Mentally. Mentally first, and then tirelessly, he must tirelessly work on his technique, work on his get up, work on his footwork. He has to work on his hand placement, work on his eyes. What do you get? You didn't need trouble, Penny. Listen, if Trevor Penny can come out this season. And finally, finally, play like the, listen, the kid. It's not about his athletic ability. Trevor Penning has the athletic ability. We know that. But somewhere last year, that kid lost confidence. And that coaching staff, that offensive coaching staff, that offensive line coaching staff, they couldn't get it back, man. Now, they say they decided to sit them for the rest of the year. But to me, that messed with the kids' mentality, too. Okay, you took them out the starting lineup. But, damn it, you didn't even have the kid in on the jumbo package. We were seeing all kind of people and people there pulling off the street, coming in to be the sixth the six lineman or the seventh lineman on the goal line, while Trevor Penn is standing on the damn sideline. To me, some reps are better than none. If run blocking, it, which was his forte coming out, was a problem, had become a problem because he was overcompensating, which I think for his pass blocking um, woes, you put him out there on those short yard situations. You put him out there on those goal line situations. You let him rediscover who he is, what made him a first round draft pick. His run block, his nastiness, his his athleticism. You know, Saints already knew they had to work with him with his pass blocking when they drafted him. So why in the hell were they so quick? Listen, we know that first game was nightmarish. That was the kid's first start. It was nightmarish last year. We all saw it. We all know. But I thought he personally, I thought he got he damn sure got better from that game. Pass blocking. But then his run blocking started to suffer somewhat. And to me, the kid was made a scapegoat for the woes of that offensive line.
That's what I think, fam. That's what I think. Hey, fam, I need y'all to please hit that like button if it's your first time. Listen, we we got eight. Listen, I'm trying. We're trying to get 20 likes tonight. We need 20 likes tonight. I need everybody coming in to hit that like bell. If you're on live right now, I need you to share this on your social media platforms. I need you to call the friend. Let them know the who that. The Keep Me Real Who That Sports Podcast is on live right now with your boy, Dolph Jackson. And listen, baby, we just getting started. Let's get down to it. We got some more Saints news coming, family. We ain't through yet. We just starting. Now, our next article we're going to look at is courtesy of Saints Wire USA. And it was written by Mr. Dylan Sanders. Ranking the best first-round offensive tackles. For the Saints. And of course, we're going to look at the top tackles on the board for this uh, upcoming year. So let me get that up there. Uh, we're going to get this party, keep this party going. All right, family. Again, ranking the best first round offensive tackles for the Saints is by Mr. Dylan Sanders. This is Saints Wire USA. He writes, the New Orleans Saints need help at the left tackle spot as soon as possible. SOS, emergency, emergency, 911. All oh, man, send out the bat signal. Put the Superman sign in the sky. Do all of that. The Saints need offensive line help immediately. I say it again. They need offensive line help immediately, especially at the tackle position. And left guard, because right now, Saints really don't have a starting left. Saints really don't have Saints don't even have a starting left side right now. We can go McCoy, Caesar, the Ram. You can't count on Ram now, so they they ain't got a left side and they don't have a complete right side. You got a center and a right guard. Everybody else is up in the wind right now. All right. So with the future of Ron Ramchak in question and Trevor Penn inspiring little confidence, they may need to address both sides of the line soon. Luckily for them, this is one of the best tackle classes that the NFL has seen in a long time. Keep saying this. Do not panic. Do not panic if the Saints at number 14 do not take an offensive tackle. I'm telling you, at 45, they can get a good player at number 45 in the second round now here are the best options that tackle in the first round and of course he starts up with Notre Dame's Joe O, the consensus number one by many people um that you talk to all this the sure thing at offensive tackle in this draft class he is almost certainly to be the first one taken for good reason he's a he's young he turned 21 in February family he's a fantastic athlete that is proven to be productive at the position next Penn State now this kid a lot of my drafts have this kid my to the Saints Uli Fashanu from Penn State Fashanu is a very young um, Fashanu is very young for a top offensive tackle prospect as he'll start playing his rookie season at just 21 years old Joe Alt is too despite his age he's already proven to be a top offensive tackle he could very well end up as one of the best players of this class as he has very, very high ceiling with a relative high flow as well. And the coach number three, my favorite. We just read about him, Saints News Network with John Hendrick. Talisi Fuaga from Oregon State. Fuaga is the best right tackle in the class which the Saints might need to focus on soon with, Ram, with Ramchek's knee situation. He had a stellar senior bowl as well as a good combine. He's a better run blocker than a pass blocker, but projects to be good at both in the NFL. Now, another name that's, that's, that's gaining ground is this young man, Troy Fatanu from University of Washington. Back to looking at left tackle. Futanu is another high-level athlete, something this class is not showing up. I'm telling you, family, they are a very – this tackle class here is – they are one of the most athletic classes that you're going to see. 
they they may be one of the best athletic athletic wise that you will ever see this class this year right now now for tanu projects as a position versatile lineman that could work out different roles thanks to his athletic ceiling he has played he can play all he can play both tackle positions he can play both guards position he's played everyone on the offensive line but center so if you if he falls to the second round and the saints are able to get him at with the 45th pick i'm a stack i think we're getting a really good football player who can contribute right now and make no mistake about it whichever these first two picks of this draft this year for the new orleans saints must contribute in a big way the saints must hit on their draft picks number one and number two this year for show sure must hit they must hit of course the saints currently as we stand here today do not have a third or a fourth round pick but have four fifth round picks of course we'll look look for them to package that up to move up but again for tanu versatile he can play left tackle right tackle right guard left guard and we know the site the saints like their versatile big men some even have him sneaking into the first round i even saw him mock to the new orleans saints at 14. to me that'll be a little early i don't know but we'll see again it don't matter what we say it don't matter what the so-called expert says all that matter is the team that's on the clock and if they deem this kid value that high on their board and he's there and they pick him that's all that matters it don't like they always say the old saying only takes one team to fall in love with you all right number five from alabama jc latham many mics also have this young man coming very athletic he's another young young tackle but also has a lot of experience starting in the sec he didn't run a 40 yard dash but moves very well he has all the tools to be a great tackle but needs to improve more on the mental side of the position so now they're saying all the physical tools are there it's meant to win them and when it comes down to this nfl draft we all have to remember a lot depends on where these young men go a lot depends on the situation that they are drafted into the the culture the environment the coaching is the coaching can the coaching relate to this young man all right number six now this kid here just an athletic freak he ain't been he ain't even been playing football that long tyler got he's the most raw but he is so athletic he is so athletic to me i think tyler guyton if you're patient with him it, it looks he, listen you throw him out there you let him go he go learn he go get better he got better rep after rep um he took coaching and next time he came up in the rep he took that coaching and he put it to use tyler guyton i think some even now i don't know i even saw some mock drafts that don't even have tyler guyton in the first round tyler guyton in the second round 45 to the new orleans saints hmm not bad i'm just saying family all right now he says that guyton is probably the most raw of anyone on the list but is still an exciting player. He played defensive in in high school, but made the switch to the offensive side in college. He didn't even play offensive line in, in, in high school. He's huge and a great athlete, but still has plenty to learn. He does. He has a lot to learn. Again, he needs to go somewhere where the coaching staff, man, where they are great teachers. If they're great, they got to be great teachers and communicators. If he goes, that, that's for all of them. That's for all these kids that get drafted, undrafted free agents, everyone. But this kid here, he needs to be in. If he gets to the right situation, the right coach gets this kid, and they're able to help this kid hone his tools and reach his full potential, the kid, I'm telling you, he has that. And I want, if everything lined up for this kid would all the talent and the huge upside that he has we're looking at a future all pro that's all i'm gonna say about that 
Number seven is Amaris Mills from Georgia. Mills is more of a high ceiling, low flow kind of prospect, which is something the Saints tend to gravitate towards. He's big and strong, but not the most polished player in the class. He is also coming off an injury in 2023 and even suffered one while running the, and even suffered one while running the 40 yard dash. He might be the most Saints prospect of all time. He might be the most Saints prospect of all time. So looking at this list here, family, again, I don't, I really don't expect the top two to be there. And I think it's kind of a long shot for there. I think if 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 Fuaga's not there when the Saints uh, are on the clock and for Shanu, I think the Saints go another direction. Um again, JC Langton, I said. I, I don't want to hear this mental. It's a mental, uh, the mental side with him. I, I don't want to deal with that. We dealing with the mental side right now with confidence and mental side with Trevor Penny. We don't need that. We need somebody to come in here who's confident as hell, who's ready to go. Again, the Saints don't need a project. They need somebody that they can line up either in the first round or second round, no matter when the tackle comes. That tackle has to hit the field for the New Orleans Saints this year. And I got a gut feeling, family, he will be starting at right tackle. I think Ron Ramchek is going to have, uh, have to have surgery and miss the 2024 season. All right. All right. Slam, how you doing? Come on in. Oh, my brother's here. Gundam, how you doing? Come on in. All right, Gundam says, dog, get, get the old tackle from Penn State. Love him, Gundam. I love him. I love him, but I don't think he – I don't know if he's going to be there. Now, if we have these run on quarterbacks like they're like they're saying right now, um, if we have a run on – if we have four quarterbacks selected in the top ten and we knew Marvin Harrison Jr., um neighbors just helped himself even more today with with the crazy time he his four three five thomas and neighbors man that's i love thomas though i love thomas um and so so those three those are your three top i mean um uh, the kid um what is it a doomsday the kid from washington uh the wide receiver from washington what's his name uh the kid from Washington. Yeah, Rum Rum or Doomsday. A Doomsday. So we're expecting a Doomsday, Marvin Harrison Jr., and neighbors to be the first three of, the, of raw receivers. And all these kids are pro projected in the top 10. So if you get four quarterbacks going in the top 10, you get these three. That's seven. You get um Joe out taken. That's your first as your first offensive lineman, which we all think is going to happen. That's eight right there. S somebody's getting pushed down the board. Somebody's getting pushed down the board. And I would look again, I would love nothing more than to have this kid. I would love to have him. Either one of the first three. You know, I look, I I like I like in the second round, like I said. I like Patrick Paul from Houston. Patrick Paul had 496 snaps as a pass blocker. Gave up one sack. One sack. That's it. That's it. Trey, big bro, how you doing? Uh, Trey says, who that? Projects mean they don't know what they're doing in the front office. Saying, we don't, again, we don't need a project. <laughs> Saints don't, I, I got you, Trey. Saints don't need a project, man. The Saints need to find again day one stuff. They got to find a starting right tackle. They need a starting left tackle. Do they go in the free agent later on in the free agency and sign a veteran like uh, left tackle? Mikael Beckton? Hmm? To hold it down? Hey, bring in Beckton, the veteran from the Jets. He played with uh he played for uh Coach Benton. Bring him in, training camp, let him and Pennant go at it. Best man win. If we get in training, OTAs, um, mini camp, and we see that hey, 
Beck is going to be holding that down, and you draft, let's say, for Shanu or um, Fuaga, whoever you draft, they start at right tackle. Saints don't have a left guard right now. Nick Saldaveri, Trevor Penning. Trent, does Penny become your swing tackle? You're starting left guard and swing tackle? I don't know. We know we bought in um, Olisa Mek Mecca Udo. He is the split version, and I say that when it happened, when looking at it, that was James Hurst. They signed another James Hurst in Udo. That's what they did. But James Hurst's play has been declining. I think Udo has a chance to beat out James Hurst, though James Hurst took the pay cut to stay with the team. All right. Um, Gundam says, question, is Ramjet condition need that? Yes. Yes. His knee problem is that serious, bro. It's been, think about this, Gundam. For the last two years, what has Ryan, Ryan Ramchak we consisted of before the game? Ryan Ramchak did not practice Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but he's out there on game day. And we wonder why his game has slipped some. He's a technician. I don't care how good you are. The best still, yeah, rest day. They say rest day. It was rest day. It was a false rest day for that knee. They, the veteran rest day, the veteran rest day from Ryan Ryan track was every week. Every week. Remember, they were careful with him in practice. Go back to training camp the last two years. Watch how they dealt with him in training camp. They were very selective in the way that they handled him in training, in training camp. So, you know, when you good, when you as good as Ryan Ryan track was. Listen, even with the bad knees, his we we look at Ron Round Check and we say, damn, what has happened to Ryan? What has happened to Ryan? His game is not what it used to be. That knee. Because listen, 17 through 19, 20, he was one of the best in the game. All could be a top three, top four in all the league. He was a he's a three-time all pro. Not pro border, but all pro, a three-time. Oh, bro, don't just fall off the cliff like that. That knee is causing him serious problems. That's why I don't understand why he opt not to get the 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 um the major surgery that he needed. Just go get the major surgery, clean it up, rehab for a year, get that knee strong, get back. And listen, most of the time you come back, they come back. They're even more, that knee, that injury that they had is more um, stable and stronger than it was before. Get that taken up. Come back and remind everybody who Ryan Ramchek was and still is. Still young enough to do it, man. Just sit out of here. Get yourself together. And listen, man, got to work, got to realize. I keep saying it. There's life at the football, man. There's life at the football. All right. Now, here's another thing I want to share with you, family. Let's look at the Saints' current um, depth chart right now, courtesy of ESPN, as it stands right now. So the Saints' current depth chart as it stands right now, the Saints are pulled three wide receiver, one tight end offense. Derrick Coach is starting quarterback. They have Taysom Hill as your backup running back, or excuse me, quarterback, and he's your backup tight end. Nathan Peterman is third string, and Jake Hayner is full. Let me say this. If, if Jake Hayner cannot beat out Nathan Peterman, Jake Hayner should be cut. I'm going to say it again. If Jake Hayner, J. Live, if Jake Hayner does not beat out Nathan Peterman, Jake Hayner needs to be cut. And from that owners meeting when Dennis was talking, don't be surprised, not, not surprised, expect 
the Saints to bring in more talent into that quarterback room. I want to see a battle for that second spot. Again, I keep saying his name. I don't know if he's going to be there. I don't know how in the hell the Saints will get him or if they even will even want to go after this kid. But Florida State's Jordan Travis, the kid just intrigues me. I'm just telling you, family. Um, running back, you have Alvin Kamara, you're starting running back. Jamal Williams and Kendra Miller. Listen, Kendra Miller fully helped. Kendra Miller's going to be your backup. I would like to see Jamal Williams in a little um, two back set, maybe in the eye as, as a fullback this coming year. Start receiver, Chris Olave. He's, his backup is A.T. Perry. Rashid Shahid, right now, his backup is Stanley Morgan. And Cedric Wilson Jr. is penciled in right now as the third wide receiver. Juwan Johnson, of course, is your starting tight end. Taysom Hill is your backup tight end. Foster Moreau is your third string. Again, all this changes the Saints at 14 draft, Brock Bowers. A lot of changes. There's another name I keep telling you about. Ben Sennett. I say Sennett, Sennett from Kansas State. I don't know what round the Saints will get him in, be able to get him in. But if if that young man finds his way onto the black and gold roster, he go push, he go push, he go push Jawan Jones. He go push Jawan Jones. Brock Bowers starts. Ben Ben Sennett pushes Jawan Johnson. Adam Prentice is called the fullback, but Adam has battle now. He has he has he has a battle on his hand. Xander Hovat, who um who Clint Kubiak and Stal bought in, familiar with him, so he'll be coming in here right now. Trevor Penny is penciled in as the left tackle. James Hurst is the left guard. Tommy Kramer, Tommy Kramer, the veteran, turns out. Odisa Mecca Udo, another version of James Hurst. Um, a more healthier James James Hurst right now. Um, Eric McCoy, look, we got to get a backup center. Cesar Ruiz, who right, of course, can go to backup center. And of course, right now, Ryan Ramchak and his backed up is Landon Young. Um, last year, Rand, Landon Young. Um, he had he had he had a better season when his now his number was called last year than the previous seasons. Um, they like him a lot. Landon Young could be that swing tackle for the Saints. Um, look, Ryan Round if Ryan Roundcheck can't go, let's he gets the first he gets first up the bat. Even though the Saints go draft a right tackle, but Landon Young will get first up the bat. Now if the Saints draft for Shanu. Uh, for uh, Fuaga, eventually they go over taking Landon Young. I'm just saying. All right, the Saints on um, base defense, they have it as the full three defense. You got Cam Joy, Nathan Shepard, Colin Saunders, Carl Grandison, P1. Here's what's going to change Brian Brissett needs to start. Brian, Brian Brissett will start this season. Brian Brissett, look, he had four and a half sacks as a as a black as a backup playing in, playing in a rotational role the spin move is nasty remember what cam and everybody was saying about Brissett last year he don't even know what he's doing he don't even know what he's doing and he was being a menace a full off season a season to refine his skill now he knows he belongs in the NFL, he should be here. Four and a half sacks as a rookie on the defensive line. The Saints finally, for one season, for one rookie season in the last two or whatever, that we drafted a defensive lineman in the first round. Saints finally seem to have gotten it right with Brian Brissett. Brian Brissett jumps into that stone lineup. The wild card in the room. The wild card. It ain't about talent. We all know what it is. Can't count on them. You hell when you will, but you can't help nobody when you're in the tub. And unfortunately for this kid, he continues, he continues to be in the tub. 
Peyton Turner. It's a contract year. I'm going to say it again. It's a contract real. It's a contract year. I pray, man, that the help go a smile on this kid and he is able to have a full season because the Saints need Peyton Turner. If Peyton Turner, if Peyton Turner can give them what they expected from Peyton Turner when they drafted him because he's able finally to stay on the field, look out. Look out. Coach Carl Grandison go continue to grow. Carl's going to continue to grow. Um, Cam's back up. Right now it's Chase Young. You could, listen, you can look for Cam to be on a, um, a, a snap count the first three quarters, then maybe that full quarter, man. I'm looking for that that package when you have Chase Young, Cam, Brice, and Grandison out there together, then Isaiah Foskey. Just when it seemed like the light was coming on for him, he got hurt. You heard Dennis Allen speak um, just yesterday at the owner's meeting when asked about Foskey, and Dennis Allen said, I just need him to let it go. I just need him to get out there and let it go. In other words, turn loose, man. Play football. Stop thinking so much. And we all saw that last year. We said it on the show. Not just this show, all the shows. He was thinking too much. But I think it was that Green Bay game. You kind of saw him starting to figure some things out. And then I think a week later he got hurt. A week or two later he got hurt. But he was starting to figure some things out. If Isaiah Foskey can finally can come around. Peyton Turner and Isaiah Foskey can cover a lot of woes for that Saints pass rush. A lot of woes. Coach, you got Pete Warner, Demario Davis, Nephi Sue, Paulson Adebo, Jordan Howden, Tyron Matthew, and Marshawn Latimo. Alante Taylor will be is, um, back up to Latimo. They got Ugo backing up, Tyron at free safety. Right now, they have Jonathan Abram as um, the backup to Jordan Howden, and I think that's how it's going to play. Jonathan Abrams, veteran. Um, we know when he came in, got his chance the last three games of the season. He was very impressive. But Jordan Howden, to me, was impressive the whole season. As a rookie fifth-round pick that many didn't expect anything from. Nifa Su, I hope this kid can come back healthy. He was the reason that the Saints were able – to um to use Zach Bond as a pass rusher, as a speed rusher, because Nifa Su just took over that strong side linebacker position. And he and they they needed a way to get um Bond on the field and they needed help with the pass rush. So hopefully Nifa Su can come back. He's not expected to be ready at the beginning of training camp, but again, hopefully he's ready to go by week two of the regular season. Like I said, um possibly is a candidate for the short-term injured reserve to start the season. And, of course, our specialists, Blake Groupie, Lou Hadley. Um, Hadley is also the holder. Rashid Shahid is your punt returner and kick returner and the best long snapper in the game, Mr. Zach Wood. All right, family. What we got? So, who else we got? Yeah, that's the only thing. That's the only thing, Jerry. He can he just can't stay healthy. When he's out there, he he he's 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 disruptive. You see, when he's out there, you notice he's out there. Not for something bad. It's just he got to stay healthy. Um Gundam say hope Isaiah Fox could turn me too, bro. Him. Um Gundam also say Jake Hannon would be okay. He insanely accurate. Say, bro, I hope listen again. I hope so, bro. I hope Jake Hander again is able to win that backup um QB position, depending on who the Saints bring in. Cause if the I keep saying his name, bro. Y'all, y'all, I like John Travis, bro. I like John Travis from Florida State as a as a I think the Saints will have to move up in the third round to get him if he's there. I think they're gonna have to package some of those fives and a and conditional pick the following year to get up to get up there. But Jordan Travis, Jordan Travis and Jake Hayner battling out to be the backup and perhaps the future of the New Orleans Saints. Something to see, man. 
Uh, Jerry says, "What? Where, where is where is Jay Live? I don't know, man. My bro, my boy here. Yeah. He, he'll catch us on the replay. He might jump in here, uh, Jerry. All right. Dog stubbornness and selfishness is why Ramchak is in a situation with his neck. I I don't I don't know what it is, Jerry. Um, uh, I know this man when talking to athletes and and being around them, bro. I know that they just want to play, man." They just want to play. Think about Jameis, man. Jameis, when he broke his back, his back got messed up against Atlanta. Saints should have shut him down, but Jameis wanted to go out there and play. Sometimes, like I said then, sometimes you have to save a player from themselves. You just have to. All right. Lester, how you doing? Who that to you, my brother? Come on in. Thank you for being here. All right, family, let's take a look. What I want to do now, let's take a look at the NFL trade value chart. Now, the Saints, let me, let me get this up here for you guys. So, listen, we, we about to learn this together. Because I hear a lot of people talking about just trade up from 14 and go up to two or three. Do you know how that's going to work? What's it going to do? We all about to learn right now, family. All right, here we go, family. So, this is courtesy of the uh, NFL trade value chart, and this is how it works. If a team wants to move up and it get this the example it gives us, and we go, we all can do this together. If a team wants to move up from number three to number one, this is number round one, number three. So the third pick in the first round is given is uh is twenty two hundred punts. So 2,200 points for the third selection in round one, okay? Now, it goes down. It looks like it goes down to 18 for the full pick, 1,700 for the fifth pick, 1,600 for the sixth pick, and so on. All right, so let, let's do this. So let's say a team wants, and then we'll do the same. Let's do this, this exercise first. So. You're number three. We're picking number three, and we want to move up to get that first round pick. Again, the first round pick is how much? Three thousand, right? We're twenty. We have we have the third pick in the draft. That's twenty two hundred. So how many parts do we have to make up to get there? Are you with me? All right. So, and I'm a, I got calculate on everything. Fam, let's do this, baby. So. We got 3,000. Let me clear that out. Mine is 2,200. That's 800, family. Again, let me do it again. Hell, I get 202. 3,000 minus 2,200. That's 800. So we have to come up with 800. So the chart says it's going to cost it's going to cost us our second and third round pick. Now, we're here. So our second our second round pick is right here the 35th pick and this um it has a total point value of 550. So 550 So that's 550, right? And it's also going to cost us because remember we got to make up 800 from the from the um, position. We're trying to go to number one. Number one is 3,000. So 550. Let's see if we do this. Let's do this. 550 family plus we got the 67 pick in the third round, which is 255 punts, right? So plus 255. Equals 805. I'm going to do it again. 550 plus 255 equals 805. So it takes for us to go from number three to number one in the draft. We will surrender because we given up our third round pick to move up in the first round. Our third pick in the first round to move up. To number one but we also will have to give up our our second round pick pick 
pick 35, and now with third round pick, pick 67. Okay, so now let's do the Saints. Let's do the Saints. Everybody in the chat, let's do the Saints now. Let's say, what do you want the Saints to move up to? Let's say if um, who's there? Everybody in the chat, give me a player that the, that that's on the board and striking. Let's say we want to go from fourteen family to fourteen to eight. Let's say we want to go from fourteen to eight family. Let's go fourteen to eight. There's a, let's say the same, there's a quarterback that felt it's hypothetical. Hayden Daniels is on the board. But you know, hold on, we can't get eight eight of the line, they ain't gonna do it. We gotta jump in front of them, so we got to go to seven. All right, so the seven pick is worth fifteen hundred. All right, let's let, let's do the math. Let's do the math. Help me out in the chat too. Now, y'all help me out. So we right here. The seven pick is worth fifteen hundred, right? We have the fourteen pick, it's worth eleven hundred. So We got to come up with 400 punts. How do we do that? How do we do that? Now, we know we're going to have to give up what? We're going to have to give up uh, what here they got us at pick on this chart. We're just using this chart. This is not the act for this year, but pick 46. So, listen, it's going to take our first and our second because we need 400. Now, it's going to take our first. All we can give them our thank. Look at that. We can give them the third. A first, a third, our fifth. Let's see. Let's see. So our first, they automatically get our first. We just need to make up the 400. So they got 11, and we need to make 400 up. Now, we could just either just give them switch and just give them our second and be out. So let's just make it simple. So you go give up your 14 pick, and you give up your second round pick, at um, which is 440 points to move up to number seven to select Jalen Daniels. All right, we just this just have hypothetical. All right, oh, city, how you doing? Come on in. All right, Booker say Dallas Turner. Okay, Dallas Turner, we're jumping up here to a uh, Booker say to go get Dallas Turner. We only need 400. That that one actually that was easy right there. All right, so let's jump from. Let's go from 14. Let's go from 14 to 2. We want to jump from 14 to 2. The second pick in the first round is worth 2,600. So we got 2,600. And now was is 1,100. We got to come up with 1,500, family. We need 1500 to get to the number two selection. All right. So we already there. So what's it going to take for us to get to that number two? We already know that. We already know I want it gone. All right. So for us to get there, we're going to need what? 440. Damn. 11. Hold on, let me read. If a team wants to move off from it, will cost them 800 points. This means they will have to trade his second and third round picks. Okay, so you don't, you don't even count that. Okay, okay, so we need 1500. Now, listen, we're gonna have to trade next year's pick too, probably. All right, so you trade the second round is 440. That's 440 for your second round pick. All right. Your third round pick is 200. That's 640. So we give them a second and third. Uh, then you go to your fifth round. I don't think we got enough ammunition, fam. See, I, we ain't got enough ammunition. Let's see. Help, help me out in the chat, fam. We, on, we pick 14. We're trying to get to number two. We need 1,500 to get up there. All right. Because if I'm reading this right, if a team wants to move up from number three to number one, it will cost them 
the difference from what it was is that is that then you start from the next round on counting up. Okay. It's cause, let's see. So 14, 4, 4, we giving up the second round. Now, do we give up the third? Do you want to give up the third? I'm getting up the second this year. Do you give up the second next year? I know the value of the second next year, but we're going just this year. All right, so 440, 1500 minus 440. We need 1,060. Where the hell are we going to get 1,060 from? Because we got uh, we got 74 here, 35, 21, and 9. We ain't got enough to move up right now. Bro. So the number three pick is out the way. It's out the window. Unless y'all see a, 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 another, it, another way. It's Poppy. How you doing? Come on in. Um, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just going by this chart. I'm just doing this. I know we don't have a. I'm just going by the chart book, just trying to get us to understand it, because a lot of times we be trying. I hear we hear them talk about the value chart, the draft value chart. So hold, oh, hold on. Let me go to the 24. I probably can put up the 2024. Let me see. Nah, that's the wrong thing I hear. Let me go back. I'm about to mess up. All right, NFL. What's this? Categories. NFL. NFL. Targets. Hold on, family. Let me, uh, let me see what I can get us. Nope, just stay in my head what was. Okay, so we're not getting us. All this giving us in here. Okay, we don't have you right, Booker. We don't have a we don't have a third all forward, so we'll be out of there. We ain't moving that far. How far can we move up, though? Realistically, how far can you move up? All right, let's go for seven. Is out the question right now. We can't get to seven right now. Or can we get to seven? Because we got four forty. Uh, 6.40. No, nah, we can't get 7 right now. All right. Or does it... Or do you just trade your first and your second? I, I think I'm looking at it wrong, fam. Because let's just say we needed uh 500 to go from here to 6. Because we're at 1,100. That's 11. So we'll need a difference of what? 500. So we'll get that with a second rounder. That's 440. All right. Then we have. Right there, we got 440. Right there, a one, a two, and a four. So we'll give them a one, a one, a two, and a four. I want our first round. We swap ones, give them our two and a four to move up. And there you go. Full round is 109 is worth 76. There you go. And we'll be able to move up to number seven. All right. I'm figuring this out. I keep reading this family. Man, do y'all are y'all understanding this? Maybe y'all understand a little better than do I'm 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 following it. Uh let me see. Um, that's to say, we need tackles and and a, yeah, we do need a tackle and a guard. But we got three front. I know, but this 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 is not the the um. This is just a, a chart to show to kind of give us the uh, example of what they go by. Um, let me let me see if I can find another um uh, another chart for us, fam. Hold on, let me see. Let me try right now. NFL trade value chart. Let's see. Uh, try to get another one up there for us. Nah, that's too complicated. We ain't trying to do all this shit. That's too complicated. Uh, damn, letters too small. 
Uh, let's do this. Trend twenty twenty four. No, we don't want that. That's what we're on the values. Let's try football networks once. Let's see what they give us. All right, let's look at their saying. First selection, 3,000. 16th selection, 1,000. 32nd of selection, 590. Okay, will y'all give us a chart that we can actually understand? Nope. Damn, that BS too. Hold on. See if CBS got one for us. We probably can look at. All right. Future pick value, clean the ball. All right. Uh, value 900 overall, 33. Got it. First round, second round. All right. One over all three. All right, let's let let's check a look at this one. Here's another one. It's kind of different. It's CBS Sports. So let's say that you got the seventh selection right here. You got uh, the seventh selection in the first round is worth 444. The number one pick is worth 900. So what's the difference right there? Uh, what that is, three, what? Let me see, family. Let me see. So 900, family, minus 444.13. This can't be right. All right, we need 400. So we'll need 415 to move up. So the next pick this team would have would be, well, what is that? Let's do this. Let's throw that 14 shit. Again, see, they got us at 46. We got the 45th pick. But anyway, let's try it. So. To go from oh that could be a doozy to go family from one to I stick to where I was. Let's stick with seven. All right, so we need four hundred and fifty-five, y'all, to go to get the number one pick to move up from seven. All right, so our next pick would be the next pick on this chart. The team that we're doing would be the thirty-nine pick, thirty-nine pick, and that's one worth one hundred and thirty-seven. Point sixty-eight. Okay. And that's that'll be a second. Our next selection 71 is 62. I don't think they got enough. I'll do us going later rounds too. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're going later. All right, hold on. Let's, let's go team shit. Let's go with the Saints side. Uh, 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 I lost it, fam. Uh, all right. I should let me just stick with the one we had. Let's stick. Ray Swan, my brother. How you doing? What up, cousin? Cousin, come on in. Thank you for being here, my brother. 400, 456. All right. I, I, I didn't love that one. Shit. I'm going back to the one we was at. Damn. All right. So let's start over. I'm, damn it. I got it, but I don't got it. Get it? We're going to get this together. Shit. Damn it. Before we get out here tonight. All right. Swarm sends you here. Sends you here. All right. Eight pick trying to get. To number three, which will currently be the Patriots. So it's going to take what? The gift from eight to three. Uh, 2,200. Let's see. Let's see. My... 
2200 minus da 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 Y'all coming from 8, 1400. You need just an 800 to move there, man. So you got five. You go give up a second right there. That's 500. Uh, You give a second and third. That's what? That's 730. So you need 70 more. Or you can go five, you give up a first and a forward, but I ain't taking no forward. Will they take a forward? 586. Okay. So we need 800. So we give them the second and we give them the forward. Now we need 242. So then we're going to have to give them. Uh, no, we need 200, excuse me, excuse me, we need 214. I'm not giving no second and third. That's crazy. All right, so let's back out there. Uh, da, 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 da. So we got to get, let's see. Help me out, Swam, help me out. So round two, you giving up the second round, right? That's 500. That's the most. We got to give up that second round. We got to give up that second round when you look at it. Um, yeah, the Jimmy Johnson one. Yeah, that, that one too. Let me see. Let me see if I can get Jimmy's, man. I was looking for him. Um, let me see. Let's see. NFL database. Uh, nope. All right. No, this round not even more than that. Round one. We know this ain't. Man, what year they got? 2024 trade value chart. NFL database. Uh, no, sir. All right. That ain't the one. I know it's the Jimmy Johnson one. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah. They just they don't like give this year's um uh, Pacific draft order. They're just using um uh, a um uh, a chart to show us how how it how it would work. Okay. So let's use this chart, and on this chart, the Saints are 19th, and they draft 19, then they draft 49. Okay, yeah, let, let, let's use this. Let's look at this one. Maybe this one will be a little better. Again, this is not the precise um, draft order of this year's draft. These are just um, charts that basically are just helping us to understand how teams get to the uh, stage of um, trading draft picks. So let me get that up there for you guys. This is stuff I want to know, fam. I need to know. All right. Uh, let me hey put a one in the chat if y'all can see that, fam. In the chat. I think we got slim. I think we got four fifth rounders, bro. I think we got four. <laughs> so I'm say, uh, trying to trade back with Minnesota number eleven, a demo number twelve. They can come up for a QB, and we will still be able to get Dallas Turner or Jerry Verse. We need an edge bad man. That, those would be either one. Those would be good things. <laughs> Booker said, "Just throw and use car to cover the difference." <laughs> 
uh dove i like to use uh for a while it was the actual chart hey where you found that at swamp because i'm like i'm sure i'm i'm looking for it right now uh yeah i heard that it was outdated that's what i'm saying <clears throat> so i just found this one let's just let's just use this one for right now fam let's just use this one then we will get the hell on out here all right so the first pick is worth three thousand again this seems to be the jimmy johnson anyway all right so all right who that nation at this one here they got saint 16 on this one we're gonna roll with it we're gonna roll with it all right let's say you got dallas turning on felt let's say the number 11 and we got to make a trade with the commander so that's easy to get up there you ain't gonna need 250 to get there that's nothing i ain't giving you my second that's too much now let me see what oh, that's name the saints pick i'm talking about the second second round what is second round where's the second round for the saints uh the same second rounder would be 49. that's 410. that's too much okay when we do another second let's do in the third round here arizona new england philly minnesota and damn it we don't even have a third on this one Okay, no third for New Orleans on this one. Atlanta had two thirds on that one. Oh, yeah, we do. So 108. So 108, and we're getting them to one already. Shit. So we will give them a third and a what? It's a big ass goddamn levels right now. Uh, yeah, I've been looking for uh appreciate it, Slim. Um, let's see. So we ain't got four to go because we had four, we had 16. And we're trying to go to I gotta do something ridiculous, man. All right, we're trying to go from 16 five so we're trying to trade with the giants so 17 we need 500 okay what's our oh we got that easy we right there with this one so that that means we will give them what they got the giants is 1500 uh with so it's a difference of five 500 that's easy so our next pick is what so we give them our second that's four that's 14 we need on we now we only need 90 so you give them that pick and you go to your third round so we got a two we giving and a what what is this why oh, is the chart not finished and a da -da 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 -da. and you got a 108 here so you can give them a second and a third round. Damn, two and a three, and two and a three. But this not saying what the one twenty is here. It's, it's frustrating me. All right, let me see something. This is from twenty twenty three. Uh, all right. Uh, this is old. Okay. Back to the chart. But anyway, fam, I got basically um looks like the first one we had was the best one to explain it. But uh so basically it would take the the second pick uh because the second round pick is worth 410 you need 500 to move up so you can go your second round pick there then their next pick is at number 98 so you'll give a 
a two and a three to move up nine spots. A one, a two, and a three. Mm. Nah, what year though? So do you give up this year? I give this year second and conditional three the following year. You can do it like that to move up. So it take your one this year, you'll swap ones, you'll send them this year's two, and you'll send them a three the following year. And that'll make up the, the, the difference. That would allow in this uh, scenario the Saints to jump from 16 all the way up to number five for the compensation. Because this this fifth pick in the first round again is worth seventeen hundred, and on this chart here, the Saints had the sixteenth pick and it was worth a thousand. So it would have taken your first, you swap ones with them. It would take in your second and a conditional three, or a a you swap ones. You give them this year's three, and your next year's two to move up, and then. You'll be you'll be able to make that trade. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in the chat before I get out of here. Family, any family members want to come on right quick? Uh, please feel free to do so. All right, all right, family. Link is in the chat. I ask everyone, please hit that link. Please hit that um, like bell. Please hit that subscribe. Come on in, join the family. We are live on the Come On In Sports Network. This is the Keeping It Real Who That Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Dolph Jackson. The doors are open. You already know. Come on in. All right, family. The link is in the chat for anybody want to come on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Jay Lyle said, man, just trade two fields for a first rounder. Boy, stop it. <laughs> what up? What up, live? <laughs> I talk about hey, what up, what up, Cloud? What's up, live, bro? Hey. <laughs> a lot of time, boy. Just trade two fives for man. Go ahead, man. But now, nah, bro, what's, man, up, man? What's, up? what's up, man? What's up, man? Just, just trying to get us ready for this draft, <laughs> man, so we can understand this, this, this draft stuff, man. How it works, man. Um, again, me and Swan been looking for that Jimmy Johnson chart, man. They are saying it's outdated. But it was the standard now that they used that a lot of teams use, man. Okay. But just going off it, and we could you can see, bro. Like again, matter of fact, I'm gonna go back to that first one we had, fam. I like I like that one kind of better. Go back to that one. Yeah, I like this one better. All right. So here on this chart, where the hell am I? There I go. All right, the 14 pick is 1100. If we want to go to uh, that fifth pick, it gonna take six hundred. All right, live you in here. So what we do? We already know we swapping ones, right? So we giving them from them to go from five to fourteen. What we giving up? Let's see. They need six hundred. So I'm figuring what you use. God damn it. There we go. All right, so they need. All right, it's easy though. This one, this one, he really easy. So, oh, same thing. You give. I'm giving them. I'm giving them my second this year. No, I'm giving my second that. next year. Next year. Okay. Because it's four forty. I give them the. Tw- let's say it's the twenty twenty five. I give them the second next year. That's four forty, and I give them. A third round this year, so they'll get this year's one and three, and a second next year, and bam, there we go. We up there to number six. I mean, the number five, just that fast. Now, dog, who are you trying to get at number five, bro? I'm just saying, this is just hypothetically. Whoever you name, yeah, hypothetically, like who would you go for uh, at, high, at five? It go, it'll like, be a quarterback. I'm going up that high. Got to be a quarterback. It gotta be a quarterback. It gotta be a quarterback. Team. Yeah, it, to go up that high, it gotta be a quarterback, bro. It got to Damn, be a quarterback. even with the line in, in, in the shape that it's in, huh? It got to go up that high. It got because this this draft here is loaded with the offensive linemen. That's why I'm saying we can't we can't panic after the first night if the Saints didn't get a tackle. I already know I could go a lot, but man, they didn't get a tackle. Ram check her. Penny to suck all this stuff, and we didn't get an offensive lineman. They're going to get another damn defensive end. 
Oh, uh, or they get a damn wide receiver, blah, blah, blah. This draft is loaded with tackles, bro, and good okay. offensive linemen. You would get yourself, if you do your homework, you would get yourself a very good football player in the second round and even later in the draft, bro. And and they are very this entire class, like the article I read, um, uh, I believe it was from uh, John Hendricks. Uh, uh, no, it was on Saints Wire USA. This class is very athletic, bro. This is a very athletic class. Now, again, if the Saints had to move up, let's say from fourteen to um, eleven or ten to get. I don't know. Maybe they want um, Fashanu, the offensive tackle. He's still on the board. Do you go up to get him? Or do what's it going to take? What is that going to take? That's going to take like a, what? A first and a second? A uh, first and a third? No. It's going to take our first that year and then maybe a right. third round pick the next year. So we say what? Nah, but look, it ain't that much to move up from there. According because 14 here is worth 1100 Saints. So, so it's worth 1100 right? So to move up to the 11. 11 on the uh, calls is 1250. First and a, a so, fourth, maybe. Yeah, so you got, yeah. So let's let's do the math. So what, what's the difference in that? 1250, 1100 is what? Uh, uh, you're looking at uh, 150. 150. All right, so let's go to our second. We ain't giving them a second. We already gave them our one, and we need 150. Like you, you can give them a third. Do you want to give them, you give them a first and a third? We're going to try to fleece them with that first and the fourth. First. <laughs> well, that fourth is worth 74. Okay. Damn. That's 74. Then your fifth round is only worth 35. Sixth round is 21. And the seventh round is nine. So, bro, that shit go down, bro. One, yeah. So, you need 150. You know what I'm saying? So, you just yeah. say the hell will you give them the third, either this year. But if they if you're gonna move from there, you're only going up four spots. Hey, we'll give you this year's number. We'll switch switch ones with you now. We'll give you a three next year. Or maybe they play hardball like now. Nah, we need Mickey, we need that three this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the Saints can't do a three because the Saints don't have a three. You know what I'm saying? Right. So back right. for the Saints to move up from this scenario, we pretty much take our whole draft. Yeah, for them to move up from this and there, they'll have to give up the second round pick to move up for sure to get it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it, it'll you damn near take the whole uh, Noah, there you go. You can say next year too, bro. You know, you can go next year too. So we'll be looking at like like you say, our, our first and uh what what we say was going to eleven? A first and a well, a third. A third would have, would, if we had a third, that would have covered it, right? Yeah, yeah, the third. third, yeah. If we had a third, that would have covered because we only needed 150. Right. Move up. So that third, all oh, again, a conditional third, if they're willing to take that third next year. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's how it works. And let's discharge. I like how they, it's simple for me to hear because it explains it. For a team to move up from three to one, it's going to be 800, so they had to give up their second and third pick. And so if you're looking, their third pick was worth 550. I mean, their second, excuse me, worth 550. And their third was two, um, 255, 805, bam. They gave up their second and third to go up to number one. This team here drops back to number three and pick up an extra second and an extra third now. So they got two twos and two threes. You know, so that that's basically how it works, fam. And, and matter of fact, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going over this chart, man. I'm gonna do this all the way through the draft, man. All hey, right, dog. Yes, sir. Andrews P looking pretty good right now, ain't he? They threw. They ain't gonna bring them back live, bro. That's because, uh, and, and if they don't, it's over uh -huh. their foolish pride, bro. Yeah, they, ain't, they, ain't they need bring them back, that, bro. You need an Andrews P right now, just just on the line. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. They released Pete. They they already done took that day cap hit on their books for releasing him. Why would they go back and re-sign him to another uh, contract? I see, that's what I didn't know. I yeah. thought I thought he was in a contract year and they just didn't re-sign him. No, 
Uh-uh. He, he he's not under contract. He's a free agent, but from his previous contract with them, oh, hey, he's, hey, he's bro, still bro. on dead money. Help me, help help me make sense of this, bro. Like how that dude come in, play tight end admirably, mm -hmm. and they don't even talk about bringing this dude back. Or maybe they, I don't I don't get it. Like you have no tackle. You have the most sure thing you had on tackle had had that tackle was Andres Pete on the left or the right. Mm -hmm. How they you don't bring the dude back, bro? They done saw it. Basically, bro, they have seen enough of Andrew's Whoa, feet. Bro, I'm in a different direction. And, then, and let me go ahead and just keep everything in perspective. Mm -hmm. We just tried to have a rookie tackle, not even a rookie, his second year in pinning. But it's not over with pinning. And that didn't work. So I don't now think it's you, over with for him. No, don't get me wrong. I know, I know what you're I'm fine. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm fine. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I know they're going to try to see what he got this year, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Because that's, you know, at best case scenario, that's what you want. You want him starting. However, it's not, I mean, you saw what happened last year. Quarterback was getting killed. He had to get out the lineup completely. Right. How can you, how can you put all your chips in with him and Rand? Yo, I don't like that, bro. Like, something got to shake. You got to bring in a veteran, someone that's proven to be a solid tackle Mikhail in his league. Mikael Beckton. Who he with? Formerly, he of, the New, formerly of the New York Jets. Uh, John Benton was his coach. He was a high draft pick. Uh, started off solid. Had an uh, injury season. couple An uh, injury. But uh, pretty solid when he was out there playing, bro. Good left tackle. He was a, a first-round pick. Um, yeah, Mikael Beckton. Formerly of the New York Jets. He's out there. And with his, his relationship with John Benton, if they were to go for a um, veteran just because of the relationship, and we see that a lot of these signings and these moves that teams are making, not just the same, it goes a lot about familiarity. You know, you know people working with people before in the past, you know, having some kind of relationship. Um, I know with you're them. talking about that good old boy system. Yeah, you know, but hey, he he. he He'll be an upgrade to what the Saints had. I, I personally, bro, I don't think Ram, Rams going to play this year, bro. Bro, I, I think we're going to play, but I think all we're going to get out of Ram check is six games. No. I think if, if he does play, we're going to get on the same thing we got on the last two years. Right. Not not, not, not his best and not because he's incapable of it. Well, he's not capable of it because that knee is hindering him, bro. And it's probably because he is not capable of it because yeah. of that knee. Yeah, that knee. That knee, bro. They got to get that knee. My brother bro, Red Swan. At, at this point in time, with our technology, we don't have nothing to help his knee, bro. Yeah. It's, uh, a, it's, it's, it's a pain tolerance thing. Right. And I'm look, I was looking at the available offensive linemen, bro, and when I saw that with Beckton, I'm like, damn. Beckton, and I listen, Beckton wasn't a bad player. He's not a bad football player. Um, so if, if so they want to go to um, let's see, let me let me look him up, man. Because I know he coming from the Jets, but was he their starter last year? Or are they letting their starter tackle go? Because you know that's always dangerous. Dangerous. That's just like the um Packers letting um uh, always get his name wrong. Um, David Beckerterry, Beckerterry. I know you're talking about. Yeah, I, I always get the brother name wrong, but man, you know he's an excellent tackle. But they moved on from him because of injury. The Saints moved on from Teron Armstead because of what? Injury. Man, you know look, I, look. It will, uh, don't get me started. <laughs> yeah, Swan. Swan. Well, I, miss, I miss Teron so much, man. It's ridiculous. Now, he doing the like, same thing. The same thing that was happening here is happening in Miami. He will play a few games and he out. Play a few and he out. Same thing happening. But you know uh, what? But you know what? Mm -hmm. One thing about Teron, dog, unlike these other players in the NFL, well, uh -huh. most of them, like if he's there, don't matter if he injured or or what, right. you know he there. He and he going to handle his duty. Oh, yeah. That dude can yeah. work through that's, an injury, bro. That's, like, just like, um, that's just like Tyron Smith. Cowboys let him go. He went to the Jets. Saints should have picked him up instantly. You no, know, he went to the Jets, you know money 
I don't even think it's money that bad. But listen, the Saints are now doing what a lot of a lot of who that nation have been screaming for them to do. They are being responsible and they spending. And now you have people who are actually complaining. On the oh, the first day of free agency, we ain't go out and get nobody. When do the Saints go out on the first day of free agency and get somebody? Say, that's the norm. That, that's the because norm. First day of free agency is when you overspend. Thank you. So the Saints sitting back, they normally deal in their second tier anyway. So they went in the second tier. They got Chase Young. They got a they steal. Got they got a steal and, and Willie Gay. And look for the Saints to play more. The Saints are going to play more full three. I was listening to what uh, Mickey Loomis was saying, man. If you got to listen, he expects uh, Willie Gay to play a lot. The Saints going to use a lot more four three now because they have a linebacker who's capable of being on the field and doing the things well, they I need him to do. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it without him even taking a snap. He better mm -hmm. than uh, what's the, what's the what's the guy name Warner? Yeah, Pete Warner. Yeah, Warner mm -hmm. gonna hit his ceiling, bro. All three of them, all three of them gonna be on the field together, bro. Nah, all the word. I'm telling you, the Saints gonna run a lot. I ain't saying gonna be it gonna be a lot. We're gonna see a lot more. I feel we're gonna see a lot more four three base defense from the Saints this year because they have that third linebacker now. I, I know, but look, Saints don't like running that, bro. We like running uh uh, yeah. uh, uh the nickel, we'll, the nickel. We'll, we'll take off right. that linebacker and put it but, in another safety. But that's what I'm saying. They they like doing it, but also they were doing it out of necessity too, because they didn't have that linebacker, bro. Now they feel they got that linebacker and Willie Gay. And the funny thing about this, Willie Gay just coming off his rookie contract. So Willie Gay is she's young. He's wow. he's got a lot of upstep upside. He's one of the fastest linebacker sideline. He, he's one. He's he a can he can that's cover. And, that's he, the him, bro. and he is one of the best in the league at spine and tracking quarterbacks. Something that we all know. Continues to kick the Saints in their rear end. Hey, and he had a couple back downs too. Y yes, sir. Man, let me shout out my brother Ray Swan. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for the super chat, my brother. All right, Swan says, Dog, there is very this dog. This is a very unusual draft. Like you said, it is very deep. These are them COVID players. They have played a lot of football. Those boys will be ready for the NFL. A lot of football, especially on that front, bro. They're coming in with a lot of experience, man. A lot of playing time, man. And uh, I definitely can't wait, man. It's gonna be um, uh, gonna be amazing, man. Um, good call. Beckton will be excellent to take if yeah, he has Pro Bowl potential. He'll be great to take a chance on, man. Dana, Dana, how you doing? Come on in. All right, she know what's coming in. <laughs> We're just <laughs> in my sister love. And yeah, that swamp. He only 24 too, Lyle. Beck and yeah, Young. He, he only, yeah. Beck and Young only Bro, 24. I'm, I'm very intrigued by gay. Yeah. No, I'm talking yeah. about um with the offensive lineman we were talking about, Mikhail Beckton. He's only oh. 24 years old. That's what oh, Swamp okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so he's a young kid too, man. Um uh oh, yeah, my brother's family. Y'all see them families in the building, baby. Part of the come on in sports network, real fan sports is in the building. Shout out to my guy Zach and nonfiction. My brothers, you already know. Man, come on in. Literally, man. Y'all come on in, man. While we all on this thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lie, there go your boy in the yeah, building. My baby. There you, go, you know JT going to be on his way, you heard? I'll just wait, you heard? <laughs> Big brother, how you doing? JT, come on in. All right, man. Thank you for being here, man. But, yeah, Mikael Beckton. Let me, let me see if I can get that. Mikael Beckton, man. Yeah, but, hey, that would be nice. But, hey, now what is that contract looking like, looking like though? Like, he coming mm -hmm. off injury, right? He injury prone, so Let's to see. speak, right? What is it? Over the cap? Let's go to over the cap. They be... They be having his value and everything and see okay. what they got his value at. Let me see. What what's what's it called? Over the cap? Yeah, over the cap. And let's go to free agency. 
Uh, Where JT at? Uh, I'm waiting on him to come in here with his Boston acoustics. <laughs> JT be out of there, boy. Got the balls. Remember the Boston Cousin used to be the be the it, boy. Shit. Man, got them balls. Put them balls and cousins on the back. Them four balls and cousins, boy. Yeah. Shit, boy, your shit be rattling like a mug, boy. All right, back then, back then. Free agency tracker. Free agency, huh? free agency spending. Da, 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 da. All right, I need to go to position. Why oh, did we get the positions? Uh, let's see, team positions. There we go. They tackles. And he was with the Jets. Let's see. Tyron Smith went to the Jets. Uh, I'm looking for it right now. We got to get up on it. Uh, let's hey. see. Left tackle. Beckton, Beckton. We brought it down here. Caught a worm. I see it. Beckton, Beckton. <laughs> Jay, mute your mic right quick, bro. What's wrong? It's going. Nah, nigga, we don't want to hear you talking to your wife. We don't want to hear your conversation. Well, fuck, y'all niggas nose as hell, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm up here whispering and shit. Nah, you I'm can't. Done. I'm telling you, I can't whisper. I'm going to try to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I'm up there keeping and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, you're up there trying to pitch whoop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, the boy, boy the, I might watch life tonight before I go to sleep, man. It's crazy. Yeah, man. Bro. All right, man. I, I can't find it, boy. I'm getting mad now. Hey, dog. Yes, sir. Why Why you up there looking? Yes, sir. I'm mean, all subject. Uh huh. Man, but that P. Diddy stuff is wild. <laughs> I get it. Man, everybody's sex trafficking now. I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, man. it's crazy, bro. Bro, I listened to a psychic that was talking about was talking about that that uh, did uh a, it was it was, it's this woman on YouTube I forgot her name, but uh white lady but she uh bro she called this four months ago I'm talking about to the T she said in March he's going down four months ago she called what's going on right now four months ago. right now bro I'm talking about I'm gonna see the link you know what I'm saying. Like, 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 bro, like, I'm telling you, like, I'm talking about everything to the T. I'm like, wow. And, and they know, you know, you know, you know how the internet is. They keep receipts. All right. All right. So, um, so Swamp. now, now everybody looking at that. But go ahead, though. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at Swamp. Swamp say the rumor is to just move off Macau Beckton because Aaron Rodgers didn't want him on the blind side. And we all know Rodgers gets what he wants. So he's trying to get a veteran in there. All right, let me ask you a question. Is that the guy that got him hurt? No, nah, yeah, he got himself. No, nah, yeah, I think he got hit from the right side, didn't he? I thought he got hit from the left side, like from the left tackle spot. I thought it was the yeah, left tackle. That man, he was a yeah, he was. He was a damn all pro his rookie year. So um, let me see. Let me find that man. I'm about to find McCall Beckton right now. Um yeah, it'll help if I spell his name right. Thanks, Juan. Cause my new spelling there sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, throw some I'm, shit up in there, man. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wonder, throwing... wonder why it's not sick yeah, here. I'm, I'm like, why the hell they ain't sick here? <laughs> I guess if you put the bad name in right, it gonna stick. <laughs> right. Sure. So, I'll be here like, man, I know damn well I can spell this boy name. All right, there we go. Beckton contract. Let's see. So that's from Spoke Track. Let's get him in here. All right. That's his current con. That was his contract um, with the Jets. He declined the option with this for 2024. Well, they declined it on him on May the 2nd. They were supposed to pick up a $13 million on him. Uh, 
Yeah, bro. He was just let me I'll get that up there for y'all. This from Spool Track. So he was the there you go. Thank you, Swan. Swan says I like Beckton. He gonna he gonna get right from his injured season in year two. That kid made all pro his rookie season. I liked them when they was coming out too, bro. Um let's see. Now JT, he started 13 last year, bro. And only he missed the last missed um, four games last year, bro. Hey, thank you, JT, bro. No, that ain't JT. It, bro. No one hey. JT. I thought you said it was JT. Nah, man, my brother and my cousin Red Swan, man. Well, I was listening to you. I thought you said thank you, JT. Uh -huh. Oh, oh yeah, La. Hey, La Swan say you need them Powerball number from from old girl. She give yeah, she give away them. She I got you. Five, five, five. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, you, go I'm ahead. Man, yeah. bet the house. You know hey, what I mean? You know I'm saying, did he um did he get it? Remember what did ever did ever ride just go down on his own, bro? Did he plan or something? Did no, he, like he try got, to stand up something. Did he actually get sacked? Nah, he got sacked. He got sacked. And when he got up, I remember that because when he got up, he made this weird step. I said, Oh, is he hurt? And the camera right. kind of went off of him, and then they came back to him, and he sat down and said, I knew he was hurt. Right. I could tell how he took that first step. It was real gingerly. You know what I mean? I was like, ooh, he hurt. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Blaze, what's up, my brother? What up? All right, nothing, man. We ain't here. What's up, um, Blaze? Justin John, I'll out tonight, much, uh, man. Just chilling, chilling. Yeah. You got to hold all right, so there's Beckton contract. Jay, he had signed a full year, eighteen million contract with the Jets. He had uh, ten million guaranteed signing bonus, an eighteen million guaranteed. So his annual salary was four million six hundred eleven thousand, and for this year, he will earn a base salary of thirteen million, while carrying a cap hit of thirteen point five million. Um, but you know they let him go, so man, I would love to get this kid, man. Oh, he uh, he. All right, I got it. Yeah, he's it just twenty four years old, man. From it Louisville. Like it was more of a money issue. He said he was owed yeah. thirteen million this year. Yep, thirteen million. So, nah, because they cut him, a new a new team can sign him to a new contract, right? Yeah, but any money that's left over, the previous team is still responsible for. Thus, even though Andrews Pete. It's not on the Saints books anymore. It's not a member of the New Orleans Saints anymore. That previous contract still has to be honored. They still have dead money. You know, they know in void years where they push money down the road. By the Saints, right? Yeah, he say that again. It has to be honored by the Saints. Like he's still on the books. He's still counting against the cap. Yeah, he's not on the team, but he's still counting. Yeah, he counted on their yeah. books. Yeah. Bro, I, yeah, I thought you were like the uh, first. I thought you were saying like the other team had to pick it up. I said, when they start doing that shit. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> but but definitely, uh, what's his current current player contract? Hey, J Live, what what's your uh, watching? The, yeah, he got back then. Is he not on there? I'm sorry. Uh, what you say, bro? I said what. What's that you watching the uh the Hurricanes game uh past Saturday or uh no? No, I, I wasn't, bro. But it, speaking about the Hurricanes, my my boy was telling me about some six five safety they got on their team. Six five. Yeah, he said six five safety. Wow. He played for the Hurricanes. My boy was just talking about that a couple minutes ago. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, oh, oh the uh, the. Huh? Uh, Say it again. Uh, on, on, on my team. Yeah. They, I think yeah, Blaze, you talking about on your team. Who's yeah, six five on your team? Y'all got a y'all got a safety that's six five over there. What's the kid's name, Blaze? That's six five six, play for y'all. Oh, oh six five uh the jersey number uh yeah, my boy was who, telling who, me who? I don't know his name. But I was like, man, that boy got some good size. And he and I heard he fast. I was like, man. Yeah, you use my catching five running no four three. 
I'm, I'm trying to think of who, 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 who shared the, the, the boy uh, name though. Man, it sound like my boy might have lied to me. <laughs> oh, Blade. Hey, Blade. Hey, Blade. Blade, you, Blade, you assistant coach, Blade. Blade, 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 Blade you assistant coach, Blade. You supposed to know if you got a safe fire safety, bro. You supposed you to know if you got a, a, a safety to stand back there and see for a fire, Blade. You supposed to know that, bro. Come on. You got, Blade, get to know your team, bro. You got to get to know your team. Uh, uh, because we're off and not the defense. <laughs> It don't matter. You got a safety out there that's six foot five. That ain't normal. <laughs> that ain't normal. That ain't normal, that ain't normal Blaze. Matter of fact, Blaze, that's your homework, man. Next time you come on our next show, bro, we want to know the guy, the safety who's six five for y'all, man. All right. Oh, oh, uh, the 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 one uh, I I was uh, I was talking, I was uh, in, in the car with. Is that it? I don't know, Blaze. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh... Yeah, you asking me? We try to add you. You, you, you on the coaching staff. You see them every day. Time. You don't know. Time. Huh? They. Well, well, what Josh said. They have a uh, Kino uh, number uh, twenty twenty two. Blaze. Blade, I love you, but Blade, you can name oh. all the players, bro. I, I don't know him. We don't know him, Blade. I, you just naming names. You know, like, I, like if you talk about LSU, I'll be like, okay, yeah. okay. You know, you, know, you got to give us something. We need, we need something behind the name, Blade, brother. I love that. Look, and it's it's probably my fault, Blaze, bro. I'm just throwing that out there because I heard yeah, about it. You know what I mean? You know, Jay Live, Live do things like that. You, that, you, you never know, know what the hell. I know. Shit, I ain't got nothing to back it up. I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> All right. So Swan went back and looked. Jay Lyle was right. Man, don't uh, tell him that, Swan. We ain't gonna never hear the end of that. Yeah, you was right, though, bro. You got to play by Thank you, bro. All, hey, bro. all I do is try to spit straight facts, you heard me? You know what I mean? That's all I, try. That's all I try to bring to the table, bro. And it was Dwayne Brown. See, my, my brother got me, man. Cousin, cousin who got me, man. Listen. Yeah, it wasn't even um, Beckton that got beat. It was Dwayne Brown. Gave up the sack, so there you go. Appreciate you as always, Swan. So, Swan, what y'all going to do with that eight pick, bro? I'm going to tell you, I, I I still think they'll take a quarterback. Hey, who you pick bro. number eight, bro? What team? Atlanta. Atlanta, okay, okay. Even uh, with Kirk Cousins, bro, I still think they'll take a quarterback. If the right quarterback I, is I there. I think they're going to take an offensive lineman, bro. You don't think? Ray, do y'all do you think y'all take Dallas Turner or y'all take one of them uh uh one of the top offensive linemen if they're available? But I'm like if Jen and Daniels or uh 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 what's his name mate the quarterback from Carolina they sitting there yeah. man I, I can't bro you can't do that if you just pay Kirk Cousins though you uh, gotta build getting, around we getting Dallas Turner verse. I like verse. I like verse a lot. Verse got them long arms, bro. He got that motor. He 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 he's consistently gone full throttle, man. Yeah, but um, yeah. So Swarm said that man, it, it gonna be Dallas turn up verse, man. I can't wait for the draft, man. I yeah, me wait. too. I can't wait. You know, maybe it'll be a six foot five uh Player get drafted in the NFL and Blazer know his name. Blaze, that's your homework, bro. You go to practice you to uh tomorrow, bro. Y'all practice tomorrow, Blaze? Yeah, we practice uh every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, but but we off off this uh this week. We have no game until next week. Man, how y'all get a uh boy, y'all buy y'all buy weekend early after two weeks, huh? Yeah, y'all was y'all, y'all rolling too, man. Y'all two and zero, oh, man. Y'all yeah, keep that momentum we, going, man. We we, we was supposed to be playing the Seminoles, uh, but their their team uh, dropped out the league. So so uh, okay, okay. Uh, next week we got the Ducks at home. Mm-hmm. First uh, home opener. So uh, I'm I'm big on live over there on Facebook and YouTube. 
All right, all right, cool, cool. Well, we'll talk to you in two weeks, man. We about to get ready to get on out of here, man. I gotta get up and go get it. But listen, family, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight on the Keeping It Real Who That Sports Podcast. Shout yes, out sir. to my brother, my brother J Live, the one and only. I don't know why Red <laughs> Swan told this man he was right because we ain't gonna never hey, get the end of it. You know I'll tell saying? you what, bro. I knew there was something special about you, bro. I just couldn't put my finger on it, but now I know. You hear me? Oh, man. You <laughs> funny, bro. But anyway, family, <laughs> we about to get out of here. Oh, man. We about to get out of here, man. I want everybody to have a good evening, have a good Thursday, good Friday, good weekend. And before I get out of here, man, once again, I want to say happy birthday to my beautiful queen, to my beautiful wife, baby. Happy birthday once again. You've been enjoying your cake day. Every day is my birthday because I wake up next to you. So with that being said, family, I'm your host, Dolph Jackson. This has been the Keeping It Real Who That Sports Podcast. And like always, when we get out of here, love and who that. And we out. The cover is Sports Network. Who that?